If this happens, we are going to be totally Let's discuss what is about to happen in this market. But before we jump into it, if I could ask you guys, yesterday's video got 572 likes, which is amazing. You guys have been smashing it recently. Can we get this video to over 600 likes? I really would appreciate it. So first of all, we do have the FOMC meeting that is scheduled for 2 p.m. ET. We spoke about this yesterday. This is happening in about three hours from now. And there is a 97.3% likelihood of no rate hike. So Jerome Powell's going to come out and he's going to talk some nonsense and everyone's going to go, wow, amazing, amazing. And then the market's going to go all volatile because he'll say something stupid. The market will go down. Then he'll say something dovish. The market will go up and then it'll be like all of a crazy show. But <laughs> everyone is expecting 97% likelihood of no rate hikes. What we want for the market to stay stable would be that he starts talking. He sounds a little bit dovish. He says there's no rate hikes at all anymore. And we are going to be reducing the rates very soon. Maybe today, if he said it today, I don't think that's going to happen. If he did say that, the market would go parabolic, I'm sure. But he'd probably just say in the next meeting or the meeting after that. But if he gives us some indication that there will be rate cuts coming, I think that's going to be bullish. And then we see here this top comment here. I completely agree. Simply put, he will say future rates are data dependent. We will see economy going in, in the right direction. And if he says potential drops in interest coming very soon, boy, then we pamp. Now, I do believe that is kind of how it's going to go. So if we get a rate cut, very good. Most likely he's going to say they're coming. But there is a zero point, there is a 2.7% chance here that there's a rate hike. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen, but imagine it did. If it did, we are totally ruined. That's not the only reason why we're ruined, but that is going to be ruining the market. As you can see, the market is dropping. This is exactly what we expected from this morning's video. We have reached this resistance. We tried to break it many, many times. We lost it. We fell from the support. And now we have right now come down to retest this region of 42,400. If you believe that we're going to get some good news, this is actually a very strong bullish uptrend that we're in right now as we can speak. Higher, 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 high, higher, low, higher, high, higher, low, higher, high, higher, low here. And if we bounce and break through this, it would be very bullish. Lovely to get through, first of all, 43,200, then 43,500. And then I would love to see us break 43,700, ideally with this major, major, major resistance sitting at 44,200. Now, I believe that we are not going to be pushing up as soon as everyone would hope. I think we're actually gonna go lower. I have a couple of reasons why, and I do think this is gonna absolutely wreck some people, and it's gonna make them emotional, and then they're gonna be totally fucked, like I said at the start of the video. You see from the liquidation heat map that there are a ton of long positions coming into this market. The market needs to relax. Look at all of these long positions here all the way down to 39,000 and all the way up to 41,006. There is billions of dollars sitting here just waiting to be liquidated. Most likely, I believe that is going to happen. We also have Bitcoin dominance increasing. So if we have the price of Bitcoin trending downwards, dominance trending upwards, it means that we're going to have altcoins bleeding. The fucked situation comes from the altcoins. If Bitcoin does, in fact, complete this drop again of about 20 if not 40%. This is what I'm watching. If you watch channel, you know that this is what I'm preparing for. If it does complete this and Bitcoin's dominance goes up, altcoins are going to get destroyed. All right. You're going to have to expect two, three X the amount of dropping on the altcoins. Can you sustain that drop? If not, go over to BitGet, go down to the description, sign up to BitGet, get some of your altcoins onto BitGet and put yourself in some stop losses. It's as simple as that. If you cannot stand the volatility, put some stop losses in. Don't even use BitGet. Use whatever you want. I use BitGet. That's why there's a link there. But put some stop losses in if you're going to get panicked if this plays out. Me personally, I'm going to add to my positions if it plays out because that's when I go shopping. As you know, we dollar cost average here on the channel. But you can protect your downside if you don't want to be involved in that. If we do look at the total free, there is a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel. In my opinion, we have a little bit of a bull flag forming here, but it is likely that we drop about 12% here to retest the lower level of support before heading higher. So the overall market could drop 12% of altcoins, meaning some altcoins could drop way, way more than that. Some less, but some way more. So this is what I'm expecting. Overall, I think this is bullish, but this is long term. This is the daily chart. So in the short term, we could 
could have a massive pullback to retest. You can see we've retested this level one, two, three, four, and potentially five times, and that would mean the whole market bleeds before going parabolic. The reason why this is good for us if we have a long-term mindset is because everyone gets panicked, the price goes down, it retests that support, everyone panics a little bit more, loads of people who are over leveraged get liquidated, people go, do you know what, the bull market's over, it's not for me, I'm gonna sell at a loss, that's capitulation, and then we roll in. We buy our favorite altcoins, we buy some Bitcoin, we buy here, we, we get our cost price down, and then we just wait patiently for the market to inevitably pump when everyone remembers, oh wait, BlackRock is actually launching an Ethereum ETF. The halving's coming. We've got more institutional interest than ever before, and the biggest bull market is probably just on the horizon. But you have to make it through the blood and turmoil before that. If you want someone to be, if you want to, if you want to have daily updates as to what's happening in this market, this is potentially the channel for you. So smash up that subscribe button. Hopefully I've provided you a little bit of value and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.